Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will solve the following problem. For positive numbers x, y, and z, their arithmetic mean is 3, geometric mean is 2 times cube root of 3, and harmonic mean is 36 divided by 13. Find x, y, and z, and we are only going to obtain the solution where x is the least of 3 and z is the greatest of 3. So let's set up the equations. First, from the arithmetic mean condition, we have x plus y plus z divided by 3 is equal to 3, meaning that x plus y plus z is equal to 9. Then the geometric mean is given as 2 times cube root of 3. So cube root of x, y, z is equal to 2 times cube root of 3. So if we cube both sides, we obtain x, y, z is equal to 8 times 3. So x, y, z is equal to 24. Finally, the harmonic mean. It is obtained by first calculating the arithmetic mean of the reciprocals of three variables and then by taking the reciprocal of the result again. So this equals 36 over 13. Here, if we take a look at the left hand side, it can be simplified into, so 3 goes up here and this part becomes xy plus yz plus zx divided by xyz. So we have 3xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx. So we have 3xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx equals 36 over 13. And from here, we have already obtained that xyz is equal to 24. So we have 3 times 24 divided by xy plus yz plus zx equals 36 over 13. Therefore, xy plus yz plus zx is given as 3 times 24 times 13 over 36, which gives 26. So we have obtained the values of x plus y plus z, x, y, z, and x, y plus y, z plus z, x. And now it's time to use the relation between roots and coefficients for three unknowns. That is, x, y, and z are three roots of the cubic equation t cubed minus x plus y plus z t squared plus x, y plus y, z plus z, x, t minus x, y, z equals 0 because the left hand side is the expansion of t minus x times t minus y times t minus z. So this is 9 and this is 26 and this is 24. So we have t cubed minus 9t squared plus 26t minus 24 equals 0. Here, let us try to factor the left hand side by the method of guessing the roots. The roots must be the divisors of the constant term 24. And with little bit of trial and error, you can find that t equals 2 is one of the roots. So we have t minus 2 as a factor. And if you carry out the division, you can obtain t squared minus 7t plus 12. So this equals 0. So we have t minus 2, and this part can be further factored into t minus 3 times t minus 4. So we have t equals 2, 3, and 4. And since x is the least root and z is the greatest root, we have x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals 4. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in another video.